It would be nearly impossible to design a system Verilog module with only input and output ports available to you. For this reason, it is possible to specify internal signals that are signals that only exist within a Verilog module. Let's consider this circuit. It's a little bit more complicated than our simple in and out example that we looked at last time. It has some extra gates. We can see that in underscore one and in underscore two are connected to an AND gate. And then the output of this AND gate is used as the input to a further AND gate along with an input to an OR gate. Both the second AND gate and OR gate are also connected to in underscore three. The signal that takes the output from our first AND gate and connects it to the second AND gate and the OR gate is an internal signal. It's neither an output port nor an input port. Let's see how we can specify such an internal wire in System Verilog. Here we can see the stub for our module. In the ports list, we have three input ports, in underscore one, in underscore two, and in underscore three. And we also have two output ports, out underscore one and out underscore two. To specify the internal wire, we need to write the following. Logic, and then the name of our wire. We need to declare it, we need to give it a name so we can use it later on in the, in the HDL that we're describing. Where we define this is below the ports list and above the end module keyword. In our case, let's call our internal wire intermediate underscore signal. The only restriction on where we put this signal or where we declare this internal wire is that it needs to be declared before it can be used. Okay, so now we have this internal signal that we've just declared. Let's use it to complete the rest of our circuit. So our internal signal is driven by the output of an AND gate where the inputs are in underscore one and in underscore two. To achieve this, we can assign a value to our internal wire by writing assign intermediate underscore signal equals in underscore one ampersand to do the AND operation in underscore two and then close that off with a semicolon. Great. We are now anding in underscore one and in underscore two and assigning it to our internal signal. Now something that is super important is when we are constructing these circuits, for the considerations of this course anyhow, output ports and signals can only be driven by one source. They can be read by many sources, but we can only drive them from one source. There are more complicated things that you can do if you're designing, say, an ASIC. But for things like FPGA development or things that we're concerned with with this course, we will stick to the rule that output ports or intermediate wires can only be driven by a single source. Let's have a look at the other gates. The second AND gate drives the out underscore one output port. Its inputs are the intermediate underscore signal and un in underscore three. So we can complete this by writing assign out underscore three equals intermediate underscore signal ampersand to do the AND in underscore three. The OR gate drives the out underscore two output port. Its inputs are intermediate underscore signal and in underscore three. So we can complete this part of the circuit by writing assign out underscore three equals intermediate underscore signal pipe to do the OR operation in underscore three. This should have now connected up our circuit. So let's try and simulate it. So we go to our terminal, type make, Okay, the simulation ran. Let's have a look at the waveform. In the waveform, we can see that the input signals are being driven by the test bench, like in our simple in and out example. We can see that our intermediate signal is only high when in underscore one and in underscore two are high. It's, it's doing an AND operation of these two, which is what we want, great. We can also see that out underscore one is only high when our intermediate signal is high and when in underscore three is high. Finally, we can see that out underscore two is high only when our intermediate signal is high or when in underscore three is high. Well, that demonstrates how to use an intermediate signal. Why not give the exercise a try? See you next time.